Okay, so I was asked this um, question on yawning. I find um, sometimes I do praying, uh, often I'll do praying and placing things into God's infinite light and love and praying for miracles and transcendence, and there won't be yawning. But something is shifting. I know it's shifting, even if I don't. But sometimes I have phases. Uh, I've, I've been getting yawning, uh, and the yawning seems to... It's, it's very, very pleasurable, because you get direct feedback that you're releasing. So it seems like you get rewarded. You know, you're doing... And also it seems... I think uh, for different spiritual seekers, they may get different types. You know, you know with, everyone has different types of inner guidance and different types of cues. Some people will get images, some people will get, like, released. Even with muscle testing, people muscle test or sense things. I mean, Hawkins did talk about this. Like, each individual may sense the spirit in different ways. Like, some people will feel like their body moves one way or the other. Some people will get their arms, or some people may get a little voice in their head, sort of like, uh, sort of like connecting in. And the same thing is, like, you know, for myself... I know some other people also have the yawning thing as well, so it's not just, uh, it seems to be a quite common thing. But it, it seemed like it was like for many years I was praying, but only recently it started to come in this yawning, and it seems to be almost like a, a correlated indicator of, of events and how charged I am around things. And it also even seems to, um, it's quite an interesting question. Um, so sometimes when there's a very charged in situation like, I'm having problems with a person, uh, and I put them into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles, I start yawning. And that will happen like if it's very, very tense. Or it seems to be almost like in the collective, if I'm about to meet them that day, I was sharing about this in the group, it seems like, okay, thank you. It seems like if I do enough, and my vibration <coughs> increases enough, and I yawn enough, and, and it seems like when the yawning stops, it seems like the universe knows there's something like coming my way on that day. So I'm like putting them into light and it's like my universe is saying, I'm starting to yawn. And it's like the universe is saying, this is charged for today. So you definitely need to work on releasing this. And sometimes it feels like if I yawn enough until it stops yawning, it's like I don't have to meet that person. It's like it clears that negative karmic hit that I was going to get with this person. And on a, on a collective level, we know from uh, Dr. Hugh Len, like, you just transcend the data because we're all one. So that what seems to be like a conflict between me and another individual, in truth, there's only one of us. There isn't two of us. Mm -hmm. So as I'm clearing, on, on the dual, dualistic level, I'm angry at her and she's angry at me. You know, and it seems like we're going to meet in time later on today. But as I'm sort of yawning and praying, it's like I'm collapsing that dualistic field of, of this, uh, this dualistic energy of you know, mutual anger or whatever it is. And it seems as it collapses and the yawning stops, it seems like that lesson and that meeting is no longer required by the universe. It seems to be collapsed into a non-dual field of love. And so that is no longer being pulled. So that's how I experience it. And sometimes it's not directly, but sometimes it seems... I can almost intuit mystically, it's like the universe is giving me direct feedback, like keep praying until you stop yawning on this individual. You know, and you might, and you know you're going to meet them today, but you yawn and they don't show up, you see. So it's like a, but other people may get that indication in different ways. Mm. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. So, so don't worry about it, it still works if you don't. And I sometimes think, I also found this with muscle testing as well, like sometimes I know I can do it. And sometimes I'll try and do it, and I know today's not a day for doing muscle testing. So it seems to, and I, I, I've experienced this, it's like sometimes you're in tune with the universe, and it's like you're yawning away, and you know you can do muscle testing, and some days it's like, forget it, you know. No yawning today, and no muscle testing. So these, there's a, there are great sort of karmic things which one can't really understand unless you did a lot of muscle research into why you can do things and why things are not happening. It's very, very complicated if you look at the comic field.